That was pretty close. is not gonna work. Describing very much here because I'm trying to think about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I need that. There. I'll fail. Okay, we got that. I think this timing here is off as well. Oh wow, he survived. No, don't kill him. I want to jump onto the can jump onto the cannon. Jump onto the cannon. Okay, that's interesting. So let's, let's just think about that again. The first piece was the very top left there. I'm not sure if I needed to put the ring down or not. I actually think you do, because you need to slow down one of these guys. So that you can jump on one, then jump on the other, then get up there to get the piece. Or oh, wait a minute. Was that not how I was supposed to solve it? Because another method you can use, I guess, is to... No, 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 that's correct, that's correct. And then this... The second piece... I can't get the ring back, I wonder if that matters. The second piece was to slow down that cannon, and jump on one of these guys to get that, that's not too difficult. Why is that sparkling green though? The third piece is to slow down these cannonballs so you can flip the switch and then get the last one. I'm not sure if I'm doing this the right way. There might be multiple ways to do this. I'm not sure. Let me just see if I actually need the ring to leave. If I need the ring to leave... Oh, I don't. Cool. So I guess if you... think about those three things one bit at a time, then it's not really that difficult to... to figure out. So we're gonna slow down 
that little thing at the bottom there right on top of us so that the larger platform above it have time to move across to the left. Yeah, I mean the last the last map if you think about each bit individually, I guess it's not that complicated. I think I need the ring back. Okay, this guy. I just slow him down here so I can get past up there. You notice how this plant thing here is, is kind of recessed into the ground. Obviously they have to put him further to, like closer to the ring and have us further away from the ring for that timing to work. I mean that's not a... that's not a really important thing. I, I don't know if that's important to point out. So. It's not a huge deal. Okay, so those things are sparkling green. I have to slow down that. That's also quite easy. You notice that this is a, again a variation of an earlier level, so it's not like it's difficult. What? Wow. Okay, I need two of them. It's not like it's difficult. Oops. I think I get it. I need to time these, don't I? Yeah, so now they're all managing to get past the first one. Oops. Except I messed up the timing of the first one now. So now they're getting past the second one. Right, so now we can get two of these guys. <laughs> we can get as many as we want, really. Interesting. So once I get up there, I need to shift time a little bit so they stop coming down. Oops. Cool. Done. Um, I, I didn't really explain very much, did I? I just solved it, I guess. That was a little bit more complicated, like you had the range on the ring, so that if you're putting the ring down here, it would actually affect that one as well. So you kind of want to move further away, and so that you can time this one 
without affecting this one. And then obviously the same for the one further along. And then when you... In a shift time like that... Then these things don't move, but the clappers do, and so the clappers will either kill them or not. And then here you can't jump very high, so you have to stop these guys from coming to get up there, but you need two of them down here so you can jump up. There's a lot of things that you have to do, right? To solve each puzzle, you have to put a lot of pieces together. And that's what a puzzle is. That's what a puzzle is. You have a lot of pieces, you put them together, and you solve it. Whoa, ambush. These puzzles more difficult as well. I can't even tell what this is. I think it's that. Yeah, I think these puzzles are actually more difficult as well. The jigsaws. Okay, that's not right. Oh, maybe that's not right. Yeah, these are getting more difficult. Oh, cool. I think I'm not completely crazy. There we go. What is that? Anyway, let's move on. We are really... Again, which one would they have designed first? Would they have designed this level first, and then gone back to the simpler ones? Or would they have designed the simpler ones first and then made it work here? I don't even know. Oh yeah, I can't tell. Maybe they designed them together? Like they had, oh I have these three, four mechanics. What are the different ways I can use them? Who knows? I can't get up there. Oh, this. Oh, that. I have some terrible memories of this one. It's quite difficult, if I remember right. Let's go with this one first. So this, I have one ring and there's three cannons. I have to get past all three of them. I think I can get past that, yeah. So we can go through one way, no problem. The other way is not as easy. <laughs> In most games, that would make you rage so hard. Imagine if you hit that, and then you have to go all the way back to the start, and come in through the door and walk through the cannons again. That would make you rage so hard. But this game doesn't do that. If I remember right, you drop the ring here, and then s switch the switch the. Well, never mind. And then switch the lever. Go, go, go. There we go. I hope I timed this correctly. Alright, that's easy. And then... You're right. Okay, never mind. 
we can wait until the platform hits the bottom because it won't go any further. And that's how you get the first puzzle piece, but you lose the ring, which means we have to go out and come back to get the ring back. I wonder about that actually, like is that a good way to do it? I mean that gives you the ring back. Do we need the key? That gives you the ring back, but it's kind of like... It feels like it's cheating the system. Like you're leaving the map to reset it. 